Hey YouTube, back here again with another Star Wars toy haul. It's been a while and I don't really keep up with this channel. and Not for toy stuff anyway, I've really kind of moved past that. But I'm still a big collector and everything, so... I happen to have this camera ready and all the stuff from my haul from yesterday at the Kane County Toy Show uh, near Chicago. Biggest toy show in the country. And so I figured I'd just show off some stuff while I'm sitting there. So, first thing we got here, I pulled out a bag at one of the dealers and he had... These three vehicles and three figures that go with them. And the bag said $35. I was just looking at them. I didn't even say anything. And the dealer offered me to uh, take them for $15. So instinctively, I just, sure, absolutely, whatever. So I got these two speeders. The biker driver and Ezra. These are both from the Rebels line and everything. And these are two that I didn't have yet. And I figured the speeder was nice to have because... Uh, we see Ahsoka, not Ahsoka, excuse me, Sabine riding one in Ahsoka, and so that'd be a cool paint job to do. So those are neat. And then I also got a, uh, there was a first order, like, micro walker that came with a trooper, but I'm going to show my first order stuff at, stuff off at the end, because that's, that's really interesting, what all I got. Alright, a few three and three quarter figures I got. So first, found the Vintage Collection Hunter from the Bad Batch. So this was marked as $20, but the bubble was crushed, so I offered 15 and they gave me that for that. I haven't seen them in stores yet. And so, you know, I'm such a big Bad Batch fan. Rebels and Bad Batch, I'd say, are my favorite animated Star Wars. And I also got two different packs of three and three quarter figures. These are all from the Last Jedi line. It's one of my favorite movies. And so I want to show off what I got. One of them was a Kohl's exclusive four pack. And then separately there was a different four-pack with other characters. So let's go over. So we got Jedi Luke. And it's one of my favorite looks and favorite characterizations of Luke. You know, he's really neat. So I don't have the 5POA one. I've only got the Vintage Collection one. But I like the way this looks with the plastic robe because I really don't like fabric on figures. That pack also came with... Ray in the training robes, those accessories, as well as Rose. I don't have the 5 POA one yet. I only have the Vintage Collection one, but I love Rose, so always good to add her to my collection. And then it came with a Stormtrooper, one of the First Order Stormtroopers. Again, I'll show off all my First Order stuff at the end. Another pack came with two different First Order Troopers, as well as another Ray, but it's Crate Ray. As you can tell, because her feet have salt on them. And then one of my favorite Rose figures is her with the uh, poncho on and the Imperial Disguise pants still on. And then if we take off the head, pop off the poncho, put the head back on. We've got a really unique Rose here. And she's got the her medallion sculpted on and painted really well. There's also a scar on the side of her face. So, you know, this would be really good for like a whole crate setup and everything. I'd really love another Rose figure where she has the open jacket, because we already have the First Order Disguise figure. But to have one with the open jacket that she wears in a couple seats would be really cool. But also a Rise of Skywalker Rose. And I'm, I'm sure Hasbro's going to get on top of making more Rose figures. Everybody loves Rose as much as I do. So those will, those will totally come up at some point. Now we're going to go into some 6-inch. Uh, now I promise I have... I'm in the middle of customizing this already. But I finally got a Black Series... Commander Bly. I already had Ayla Secura, so I really wanted this one to go with them. I was figuring I'd make a custom on the new body or something, but, you know, why not? Why not just get this one, because it's cheap. So, I'm working on 3D printing a new Poldron for this, because I want the uh, the Clone Wars one, rather than the Prevent of the Sith one, and then I already hit him with, a, like, a matte spray. It looks way better than the, the shiny plastic that they use on Black Series clones. Or all clones, I suppose, mostly. Other six inch. Can't believe I never got this one or this character at all yet. But Dinjarin, really awesome to have. He'll go great, but of course now I need to get a Grogu. So he's perfect. And another one, I'd say this is the only one I think I paid. Probably the one item I paid the most for, in fact, was $32 for Black Series 7. Barely fit in frame here. So that's awesome. You know, I don't have all the Rebels crew. I only have 
I think just Kanan and Hera. I tore up my old Sabine for a custom. Ezra I don't have. Chopper I don't have. So eventually I get those. And then let's move on. I got some other 6 inch stuff. You know what? While we're here, talk about 6 inch stuff. I got four of the... These are not from the show, but these are from AliExpress, the Vales Toy Store. The 442nd knockoff Black Series. Uh, 442nd are all my favorite clones. And so I got four of these, like one of each different variation that they put out. And they're awesome. I already got another set on the way coming in. And, you know, all the original characters that I make that are clones are all 442nd. So I love making my characters and everything. And now I gotta do a custom of their Jedi General. So going over to my Marvel shelf, you know, I got basically a whole non-Star Wars shelf here. It's not very lit up right now. But I did get two Marvel figures, and that would be the Loki series Sylvie, and then the comic book style Scarlet Witch in the back. So those both are pretty nice. And of course I said I'd go over the First Order stuff that I got. This is more than what I got. This is some everything I already had, and I mixed in some stuff. So let's go over the First Order Gunner, which is the middle and the back there, the black one. That came in one of the packs. The Snow Trooper with the gray stripe. That was, I think, like the ATM-6 driver. That was in one of the packs for the, for the uh, crate pack. This Lieutenant, I think, are the ones with the brown poltron. That came with the little walker from the set of three that I got. One of these orange-shouldered ones were from one of the four packs. And then there are six, let's see, five, six, six articulated vintage collection, black series, whatever, regular basic First Order troopers that I got here. So I more or less doubled my entire First Order army in just one day. And I mean, I only paid $5 a piece for each of the basic troopers and then the two four packs. He had them marked each of those for $10. And I offered him 15 and he immediately took it. So that's, you know, less than just a few dollars for each figure. But that's really neat. So that was exciting. And like I said, adding more filler to my sequel shelf is going to be really great. You know, it's obviously diminished because, like I said, not as much time for figures as other movies that you came out a decade or decades before that. So, neat stuff. Good haul. Other stuff over there, you can see Ayla Sakura is laying there. So I was putting her with Bly. But yeah, there's just everything I got. Wanted to do a quick video, so hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. Bye.